Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Craftmas Day 2 and today we're going to be doing something super simple again and it's just going to be a bauble wreath and it's something you've probably seen on the internet before and they're dead easy to make, really really easy to make but I'm going to show you anyway so you can give it a go or just enjoy watching me try. <laughs> Okay, so for this, you're only going to need three things, and that's a polystyrene wreath that you can probably get from any craft store or online. You're going to need a glue gun or super glue or some sort of glue to stick the baubles onto, and then whatever kind of baubles you want. Um, for this one, I'm using small baubles because it is quite a small wreath. If you're doing a bigger one, I would recommend using bigger baubles. And then what you're going to need to do with the baubles is take these top parts off. And they just come off super easy like that. I've got a bag full of them here. Obviously you can do any colours you want. I've chosen a red, gold and silver theme. And then what you're going to do is just put a quick blob on. Stick it down, and you need to do this for the entire thing. I know. And you might think, oh, it's a small wreath, it won't take very long. It takes ages. It takes so long. Is it worth it? Not at all. Just go buy one. Uh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind with Christmas, with Christmas, with craftness. I'm losing my mind. But yeah, and what you want to do is obviously alternate the colours, or you can do whatever you want with it. Really, it's up to you. It's your wreath, um, and you can do funky colours. It doesn't have to be quite a traditional colour scheme. I just thought I'd go for a traditional one. What I would recommend is painting the polystyrene because it looks really shitty when it's finished and um, when you've got the white polystyrene shown you'll soon find out but it's one thing I learned is to probably paint it or decorate it in some way which is something I didn't do and then again you're just going to keep putting a little bit of glue on and going all the way around and you're going to want to go all the way around this side and towards the outside as well until the entire thing's covered and by the end of it you'll have lost your mind. But lucky for you guys, I'm not going to make you watch me do the entire thing because I've got one that I've already made, as you can probably tell. And once you're finished, like magic, you'll have something that looks like this. And you'll probably be able to see what I mean about kind of the white. I I'm not a fan of it. You might not mind it too much, but it irritates me. Um, I just find it annoying. Um, but I, th I think it looks quite nice. Was it worth it? It wasn't worth it at all. It drove me mad. It drove me crazy. But, I've done it now, so there we go. But yeah, it's, it's really easy. You just have to have a lot of patience and a lot of time on your hands. And it looks alright. What I'll do is I'll hang this in the studio so I can enjoy it. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. But hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of Craftmas because I definitely, definitely, definitely didn't. <laughs> but yeah, so you can have this lovely wreath behind us right there instead of a painting. It looks so festive and beautiful. It took like an entire day. It felt like a day's worth of work just to make it. Um, but you can probably find something cheaper and easier elsewhere just to buy pre-made. But if you do want to go to all the hassle to make one, it is easy. It just takes a long, long time. And they do look all right. They do. They do look nice. You can make them your own and you can personalize it in any way you want. So yeah, there we go. But make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow for a much less frustrating episode of Craftmas. Hopefully you'll enjoy that one. And so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.